Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry I wasn't able to come on here in the last few days. I was a little unwell and I needed that time to rest. But I'm all good now and back on my feet and excited to share with you guys these cute little tiny mini booklets that I made. And I just made these using my paper scraps. They are really quick to make. Uh, you don't need to do any measuring. You could make these in any size you like. And I'm going to show you these ones that I made and uh, a few of the other booklet styles like this one uh, in different sizes and what you could also do to uh, make these little booklets fun and interactive um, but these are just really simple uh, you could use these inside your journaling um, pages if you do journaling or junk journaling uh, you can add them to your pages and then you have another little booklet there to um, add some little bits of uh, ephemera because these little booklets have a, a little tiny pocket and a tuck spot in there as well so you could um add some little um you know little uh, goodies in there and i think these little booklets would also uh, make a great way for little mini albums you can add some little mini photos uh, for happy mail you could also make these as little uh, greeting cards and then you can add your little message and then um add this to your packaging and I did make um, a larger size card like this which I'll show you and then I added a pocket so then you can use that to add a gift card if, if you like to uh, if you would like to add that to the little card uh, you could also uh, use these um, as a little spot to do some little journaling or to add a little quote you could also add these to kids lunch boxes because there is a page inside um, that you could add a little note and then you can um, add their uh, lunch money into the little pocket for them uh, so um, again it's really fun and these are the little ones that I made um, I'm not too sure of the size um, I just use my scraps but I did trim them down so that they're sort of roughly the same size so you could also do that and I'll just show you this one here first um, see it's really really tiny I think it's probably about two inches by about just a bit over two inches so it just fits on the palm of my hand and I didn't have to do a lot of embellishing because it's such a little tiny booklet but I did just add a little uh, circle shape paper layered flower that I had just scrunched up to create a little flower I added a little tag that says the little things with some seam binding on the top and just sort of punched a hole so that I could add the little jump ring to uh, attach the little uh, tag. So in the inside, um, there is a little tiny top pocket here. And that's the spot I was just thinking you could add your little, um, some money in here. And then you can, then over here is another page where you can write your little note if you wanted to. Um, add this into your kids lunch boxes and I think that'd be fun and there's another little uh, side tuck pocket there as well so these are just really cute little mini booklets and um, just another fun addition if you wanted to add just something to a packaging and then here you can do your journaling so again these are great as well if you have single-sided paper and then that's the back so it's just another cute little project idea for you if you want to use your paper scraps and this is another one it's the same just different paper and it's again another little tag some seam binding on the top just uh, tied a little knot and the inside of this also has a top little pocket and a side tuck pocket and then this is uh, another place again where you can do uh, some journaling uh, you can write a little uh, for your quotes you can add some little photos in here um, so that's another one and this is the other one um, i'm also going to show you how to make these and i have also added these to my shop uh, these little mini booklets and i'll show you at the end what's included with the mini booklet if you would like to purchase these um, but this one here is a cute one and this is the one that will be available in my shop with this uh, similar pattern and this is the little a tag and the inside and I'll show you anyway with this one here what you get um, if you wanted to purchase this from the shop so on the inside of this one you get uh, these four little uh, word sentiments that I, I have 
So it'll be a random four sentiments, word sentiments. There will be a couple of little hearts that I punched out that you could use for embellishing and they're double sided. And there will also be a random print that you can use. You can also add these to your uh, little booklet and embellish it on the booklet. So they go in there. And then in the top pocket here, I've placed a layered button embellishment that's just sort of placed on a, a little pop dot that you could just uh, pop out and then you could also use this as a tag as well. So that's what you get in the little booklet. And then there's a spot here that you can embellish. You can also add another little piece of paper here to add another, another tuck spot. And then you can uh, use this part for some uh, writing if you would like to do that. Or you can add a little mini envelope and add another little place for some more tiny goodies. And that's the back. So this will be the one that will be added into my shop. But I'll show you what else you get with this little booklet because it's a really fun little um, uh, little uh, booklet kit kind of thing that I've added to my shop. But I'm just going to show some of the other ones that I made and then um, I'll show you how to make them. So with this one here, this is another little piece. So with this one here, I did add a side pocket and a top pocket. This one here is just simply folding two pieces of papers together. And you can see how small they are, the little scrap papers. So it's just another little, just a cute little mini booklet. Um, I just like making tiny little projects. So I just thought if you were wondering what to do with these little, um, little booklets, um, again, you can just um, use these as little note cards or um, you can add little photos and then um, so luckily enough it was I, I was able to fit it in these little coin uh, envelopes um, I made these which you can make two of these with one six by six paper I did a tutorial not too long ago I think it's my last video and um, I'll show you how you can make these really simple coin envelopes with um, six by six paper and it just fitted in there nicely and then you can just close it up and add some twine so you can just use your scraps to make it fit into a pocket size if you have some um, larger pockets so that they can fit in there nicely so that's one of the other ones I made you could also use six by six papers uh, this one uses two pieces of six by pa uh, six by six and um, just single-sided so again this is another great place so you can do a lot of journaling and then over here you could um, you know you can also add more journaling here you can add more pockets you can add an uh, envelope you can um, do so much with these two pages and then there is another spot here for more journaling and then you can also add this onto a journal uh, junk journal book so that they can stay in place in one of your pages so this is the hinge that I've made. This one has three hinges to hold the pages together and these ones just have one. So you can just you can make these as big as you like, as wide as you want um, and also you can uh, use however you like to do your hinge. And then I also made a card so you could also make a greeting card instead of just using those your basic plain white card stock. And this one here, I, I used the idea from this other little mini folder booklet that I made again in one of my other videos where I made these little pockets with some more scrap papers where you can add some goodies in, in these pockets. So I did use this idea for this project to create a pocket in the card. And so this is the card and all I did was just use two pieces of papers and, and then um, I used the hinge here. I've got two here. And then I made the pocket here. And then you can use this to add a gift card, uh, some tea bags. You could use it to add some trim. And then you have this spot here where you can write your little note or your message on your uh, greeting card. So this is just another great way if you want to make a card, um, just using your scraps again. And again, no measuring. This is a cut apart. So I just use a cut apart as the cover. And so that is that. 
and I'm going to show you how easily it is um, you can make these. So I'm going to show you how to make um, one like this one here with the little top pocket and the side uh, pocket because the other ones are pretty straightforward. Um, you just decide how you would like to uh, to create your pages for your little mini booklet. So all you're going to need is just two pieces of scrap papers, just like I have here. You just need two. And um, if you want to make it just like this, you just need um, any size you want to fold it in half. But because this one here has the little um, side pocket, you want to just make sure your paper is a little bit longer because we need to do a couple of folds to um, make the page. So I have here, you can see this one is slightly longer than this one um, because we need to make a tuck spot. And all I do is fold it uh, in and you want to just fold it however deep you want your side tuck pocket to be um, so again depending on the size of your paper you um, just make it however you like so that will be the inside tuck pocket and then what we're going to do now I'm just going to turn it this way well actually I'll go this way you're going to bring this side and we're going to fold that inside that first fold that we had done and you want to fold it and just place that edge just beside the fold line, not along the fold line. That way this can uh, easily close over. And we're just going to fold that over like that. And then that goes on the top. So there we have uh, your front page. So it will be actually facing this way. And now what we're going to do is we're going to adhere it to create the top pocket. And you could also uh, use a circle punch to create a thumb notch if you like. So we'll do that first. So we're going to grab this side here. And I'm just going to just uh, punch out a little circle a bit. Oh, it's not centered, but it doesn't matter. Um, so now we're going to open this up and we're going to glue along the bottom. And... We're just going to glue along the bottom panel here. You can glue right across if you like, if you want to go all along to make it more, uh, just to secure the pocket. But that's fine like this. So and then I'm just going to fold that down, press it. So that will give us that top pocket there. And then to create this side pocket, we're just going to apply a little bit of glue to the top there and then on the bottom down here. And down below, I have the link um, of where I purchase my liquid glue. If you wanting to know where I get my liquid glue from, so I'm just going to press that. So now you've got your uh, first page done with your top pocket, side pocket, and this will be the cover. So I'll put this to the side, and then we're going to grab your other piece, and then I'm just going to fold that, simply folding that in half, and that will give me those two pages uh, at the back and again you can make the 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 next page however long you like I always like to have it so that I could st still see a little peek of the pattern but you don't have to do that so now we've got this page done so I'm just going to so oops so that is how it's going to look like and now we want to join them together to create the booklet. And all I do is use a circle punch. Uh, I might just use this one. You can use any circle punch that you like to create the hinge. If you don't have a circle punch, you can just cut um, some squares, uh, about one inch by one inch squares. And then you can just use that as your hinge if you don't have a circle punch. So I'm just going to grab um, this piece of scrap paper again and... I might actually do two, I think, just to make it more interesting to the booklet. So I'm going to create two um, hinges instead of the one. And all I do is I just fold that over in half on both of them. And then I'm going to put glue to the left side first.
I don't normally go all away along the fold line just sort of just on the top bit there and then I'm going to grab my top page and making sure that the uh, side pocket is facing down I'm just going to align the little circle shape where I want to place it so I'm just going to place it there and then the next one I'll just sort of try and get it even so that will also go there and I'll just put some glue to that so once that sort of sets we're going to turn it over now and you'll have the other side and again we'll put glue to that and to the bottom one so if you don't have a circle punch and you have um, you want to cut some squares just do the same thing and then just fold that in half and then this will be the next page just making sure I've got the right side facing where I need so the fold line will get placed along there and again just sort of keep them a little bit apart from where we made the little fold for the hinge that way your pages can open and close easily and that will hold your pages together and that's pretty much all there is to making this cute little mini booklet really easy and that's pretty much done and then you can uh, embellish it and add your goodies or add this to your journal or add some photos so that is how to make that really easy and so with these ones you just fold them in half and then um, do the same thing with your circle hinge so that is how to make these and if you want to make a like this one here just so I can quickly show you how I staggered the pages uh, if you want to use six by six paper all you do is again just grabbing two pieces of uh, paper and the first one I just fold them I fold it in half evenly like um, like so so that would be my front page and then for the second page because I like to see a little bit of the pattern of the next page I folded it over and then I kind of just bring this front page and just see how far I'd like this peeking out and um, have you're happy with it with about that much you can then just press it down and line it all up nicely and then they will go like that and then you'll have those pages you'll have these two pages and then you have that and you just uh, do the same thing and then add your hinge to the two pages to join them together so that's how you can make these little uh, journaling pages with six by six paper. So that is how I make these cute little simple booklets. And I'll just quickly show you uh, what um, what you'll get if you like to purchase these this cute little one in my shop. Uh, so it will come like this with a vellum pocket that I have made with some pretty washi tape, and I'd, I have I have adhered it uh, securely with extra glue so that it won't come apart. And then on the inside, I place it in one of the cute little pockets. So it will look exactly like this. The only difference will be the uh, pattern of the uh, the image that I had fussy cut. So I did fussy cut all of the images myself. I'll show you another one, which I'm still got to add the little booklet inside. But this one here is a different uh, image same but just a little different in the design but um, i did fussy cut these as well and this is how it looks like how cute is this it's just so cute i love looking at this um so inside there is a little front pocket just behind the image and i've placed a couple of little die cuts so this is a little die cut that you could embellish it is double-sided but the stitching is um along the front here and then I've just also added a little fancy little tag so that you get those two and everything again will be the same just the image 
and then uh, inside is the little mini booklet but this is how the pocket looks like isn't that adorable and then you can also punch a hole here if you like and create a little tag if you like you could also punch a couple of holes here and add this to a mini album you could also add another backing to it if you wanted to use it as a memory dex card so there's so many ways you could use this uh, little pocket but this is the little uh, booklet that comes with it um, the other different um, uh, thing that will come with the booklet you will get a random little flower that will be attached to the front of the cover and then on the inside you get the four random word sentiments as well and then these two little heart shapes in a different um, patterns double-sided and then there is the little uh, button embellishment and then you can also use the, the the tag bit as well if you wanted to reuse that and that just goes in there and then there's a little spot here for your message messaging or you want to continue embellishing and decorating you can do that so this is the little booklet that i'll have in my shop and i had a lot of fun making these and you can make a whole heap of these booklets and just keep them to the side when you're ready to add them to a project so that goes in there and i like how i've made a little pocket in the front so this one also has a pocket too as you can see i've still just got to um, make the booklet and another little a die and that goes in there and you can use these as well for your um crafting projects so that is how that looks like and this is in my shop i only have six of these available if you wanted to purchase these and this also makes a great little gift if you want to give this to somebody to cheer somebody up or as a happy mail gift but um i was really happy to do this little project and share it with you i hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial and thank you for waiting for me uh, to come back here to share with you another video i will be back with another tutorial and project um, again so i hope i'll see you then bye for now